This is how you can code a invite tracker for your discord.js version 14, but so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to be using the slash command package for this video, and the reason for that is because my prefix handler does not support await or async, and you need that for this to work. So I would recommend using slash commands, uh, your slash command bot, or if you're using a prefix command bot, just make sure you can support async on this as well. So we're going to go ahead and get started. We can uh, create a new file or however you would create a new command and we'll do invites.js. In here, we're going to do const slash command builder, and then we can equals require uh, at discord js slash builders, semicolon. We can do const message or embed builder uh, equals require discord.js semicolon again then we can do module.exports equals we can open this up data new slash command builder set name to invites and then we can do set description we can say git a users server invite count. Then we can go down here. We can say add user option. We're gonna need this so we can get the uh, user. So we can do option arrow function option dot set name user. Then we can do dot set description, and then we can do the user you want to check invites of something like that. Then we can do. Uh, set description or set required and we're gonna make this true because we do need to get a member uh, to check the invites so then we can add a comma here and we can go down here we can do async execute interaction message now this is the part that we kind of needed I need this async because we have to await uh, fetching the invites um, so you're gonna need to make sure you can have an async execute in your command handler for this to work um, and for me, it's just easier to use slash commands. So we can do const user equals interaction dot options dot get user user semicolon here. We can do let invites equals await interaction dot guild dot invites dot fetch. We can do let user invites or inv equals invites. So that's a variable we just created above. Invites dot filter. And we can do u, arrow function, u dot inviter and and or amp ampersand u dot inviter dot id equals 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 user dot id. We can add a semicolon here and a semicolon above as well. We can do const channel. Actually, now we're gonna leave this part out. So then we can go down here and we can do let i equals zero. So that's gonna be the invite count. And then we're gonna do user invite dot for each inv arrow function i plus or equals to invites or inv dot uses, just like that. Um, all right, and then we can go down here we can do const embed equals new embed embed builder. We can set a color. We're gonna do blue. We can set a description. In here, we'll do white check mark. We can say uh, user dot tag has. Uh, actually, we'll bold this. We can do in here. We can do i. We can finish the bolding invites just like that. And we can go ahead and send the message. So we can do await interaction dot reply. And then we can do embeds embed because that's our embed name. And then we can end it off with a semicolon just like that. So now we can go ahead and restart the bot and test this out. All right, now that our bot is online, uh, I had to use a different bot because this bot wasn't working, but now that we have our slash command bot online, we can go ahead and check our invites. So we can do slash invites, and as you can see, the command's gonna pop up and it's gonna give us the user options. So I'm just gonna select, um, I, I guess, me for now. It's gonna say I have zero invites. If we go ahead and kick my alt like this, um, and then I go ahead and get an invite link. I can go ahead and invite myself back. As you can see, I just joined again. And we can do invites one more time. And we can say me. 
And as you can see, it's going to say that I now have one invite. So it's going to constantly update like this, and it will say your invites. Um, so yeah, that's how the invite command works. If you have any questions or you need any help, go ahead and join the help server in the description below. And I will be here to help you out along with the other mods and coding helpers. Uh, we just hit 1k members, so yeah, feel free to join, and I'll see you guys in the next video.